I'd rather read. Hey. I'd rather read. I just love that theme song. Zuckerberg by Pat Sosa. There's a clock in my sock by Dr. Think and Shine. There's a clock in my sock. No matter where I go, I need to be on time. This book is about time management and the way punctuality can help you climb. In some cultures, being late is considered to be a social crime. There could never, ever, ever be enough words that rhyme with time. Bertha Lee made it to the corner, but the ice cream truck, which departs at five o'clock, had just left. She wishes she had left her home just two minutes earlier. Bertha Lee needed a clock in her sock. Dr. Thinkenshine has a clock in her sock. Tick tock. Do you have a clock in your sock? Tommy's dad was late for work because Tommy missed the school bus and his dad had to drive him to school. The bus comes at seven o'clock. Tommy got to the bus stop five minutes late. What are some things Tommy can do in the future in order to get to the bus stop on time? Tommy needs a clock in his sock. Dr. Thinkenshine has a clock in her sock. Do you have a clock in your sock? Tick tock. Manny was 15 minutes late for the spelling bee, so he was disqualified. Manny spent five months studying for the spelling bee, but because he was late, he could not even compete. What are some things Manny could have done to get to the spelling bee early or on time? Manny needs a clock in his sock. Dr. Think and Shine has a clock in her sock, tick tock. Do you have a clock in your sock? Tick tock. Tanya's neighbor pays her $25 each week to walk her dog before school. Tanya is saving money for a family trip to Victoria Falls in Africa. Victoria Falls is located between Zimbabwe and Zambia. Tanya overslept four mornings, so she only earned $7 one week. The next week, she overslept and did not walk the dog one single day. She earned no money that week. In fact, her neighbor hired a new dog walker. Tanya needs a clock in her sock. Dr. Thinkenshine has a clock in her sock. Tick tock. Do you have a clock in your sock? Tick tock. Nathaniel woke up at 5 o'clock in the morning because he wanted to hang his posters for the class representative election, have breakfast in the cafeteria, and make it to class on time. Nathaniel laid his clothes and books out the night before, set his alarm clock, and got to bed by 8.30 p.m. The next morning, he hung 20 posters, ate bre breakfast, and got to Latin class on time. What are some things we can learn from Nathaniel? Nathaniel had a clock in his sock. Dr. Thinkenshine has a clock in her sock. Tick tock. Do you have a clock in your sock? Tick tock. Latoya knew she would be at the hair salon for about eight hours since she was having some very special braids installed. She took a book, her spelling words, her Sunday school lesson, her Greek flashcards, her nail clippers and dental floss. Latoya clipped her nails, cleaned out her backpack, studied, and read while she was having her hair done. She even brushed and flossed her teeth when her stylist took a break. What can we learn from Latoya? Latoya had a clock in her sock. Dr. Thinkenshine has a clock in her sock. Tick tock. Do you have a clock in your sock? Tick tock. Zenda, Brenda, and Linda were planning a surprise party for their sister, Trenda. Two months before the party, they met and each took an assignment or jurisdiction. Zenda would work on the invitations and the guest list. Brenda was in charge of the strawberry-themed decorations. Linda would work with mom, dad, and auntie Tawenda on the menu, which would feature Rama Nakinda's famous strawberry, razzle dazzle, fantazzle, numazzle, wantazzle, pinkific, terrific, very, very, very merry cake. <laughs> surprise! Everyone shouted as Trenda walked in the door. Trenda was so happy and surprised. The party was great. Zenda, Brenda, and Linda did a great job planning. They made Trenda feel special and loved. 
Zenda had a clock in her sock. Brenda had a clock in her sock. Linda had a clock in her sock. Dr. Think and Shine has a clock in her sock. Tick tock. Do you have a clock in your sock? Tick tock. It is great to get rest and relax, but it is always good to have a clock in your sock. It is great to manage your time so you don't let anyone down or get behind. The world would be a better place if more of us had clocks in our socks. Tick tock. In fact, it would rock if everyone had a clock in their sock. Tick tock. Do you have a clock in your sock? Knock, knock. Who's there? A hawk wearing a sock who is in need of a clock so he can climb the stalk to avoid being hit by a huge falling rock which is coming down at one o'clock. Guac, guac. Tick tock. Do you have a clock in your sock? <laughs> Tick tock. There's a clock in my sock by Dr. Think and Shine.